So once I get the KML exported out of Business Center, I need to get it onto the DJI controller. And the way you do that is you have to copy it from your computer onto the SD card and then move it to the controller. So what I have here is I have the KML saved on my computer. So I'm going to copy this and then I have it a window open where I'm going to paste it into my SD card. So it's the SD card. It's a folder called DJI and KML. So I can open it here. So you have to have a folder on the SD card called DJI and then inside of it, a folder called KML. And then we paste it inside that folder. So once we have that in there, I can eject it from my computer and I can put it into the SD slot on the right hand side of my, com my controller. So on the right hand side of my controller, I'm going to plug it into the slot and you see that it recognizes it as, as a KML file. So I tap the button and say project boundary and hit the import button. Import was successful. I can close out of that. I want to go up to the top left and hit the menu. And you can use this drop down. So you want to choose KML file. And you'll see that the file that I just brought in is there. And I hit the start. And it brings it down onto my project map. So once I get that set up in there, I can hit the edit button. So this is where I want to edit my mission. And I'm going to do a 2D photogrammetry. And it converts that polygon that we made in Business Center into my flight boundary. So once you get in here, you can make your changes. Um, I could do, go to the advanced settings and just change my margin to manual to zero so it'll show up a little bit better. And you can see that it's using those couple points that I, I made the boundary from as my, my new flight boundary.